Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to customize your workspace. Um, this whole layout that you have is considered your workspace. Um, you have the um, uh, list of tools on this side. Uh, my timeline is down here. You have your stage here. Um, and over here you have another set of panels and um, menus for more functions as well. Um, now, <clears throat> you can actually, there's certain uh, preset um, workspaces that you can find and usually locate them by going to window then uh, you scroll down to workspace and then here's some some ones you have here so the setups are pretty useful because they they're pretty convenient for whatever different projects you may be working on some people are more comfortable with your timeline up top your stage at the bottom um, certain functions on the left certain tools on the right um, this is considered the uh, animator workspace then you have uh, the classic pretty traditional so you know the good thing here is to know that you're not you know forced to work with whatever workspace is given you can actually customize it to however you feel more comfortable working generally I have two workspaces that I use the first one is uh, right here one's animation and one's design design is primarily for designing purposes so I need most of my space dedicated to the stage um, I can zoom in and, and really have a lot of space to work with um, and then for example when I'm designing my characters I use this mode um, because the time I don't really need the timeline as much but if I do I can just click on it it pops out and I may need to create a new layer or duplicate one or something like that and as soon as I'm done you know it disappears so I have all the stage for myself um, <clears throat> when I'm animating, I use the uh, animation, and which is a, 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 a workspace that I created, and that's a cool thing. So after customizing the workspace, you can save it, and then you can go back to it to use whenever you want. So you can go back and forth, switching between different workspaces depending on the project you're working on. Now, how do you create a new workspace? You simply go to Window, Workspace. And then uh, you go scroll down to new workspace. Then you're going to be given the option to name it. So, for example, I may call this uh, workspace tutorial. Now, I can customize this however way I want. And when I'm done customizing it, it will just automatically save it for you. So, for example, um, let's just say I wanted to move my timeline to the top. You can just simply... Um, click on the tab here and then you can fit it into wherever you want if you notice when it, once you scroll it into a little um, one of the spaces between the, the the different panels you'll see that a little blue line will pop up and that pretty much is like an indicator that it's ready to snap in so whenever you move it towards the um, the edge and you see that blue line you can just release and it snaps into place same thing with this. You can take this out as well. Put it wherever you wish. If you want to put it back, you just move it. See that blue line? Release it, and then it goes. You can, um, you know, scroll it over so it actually it's, it, it gets a lot thinner so you have more space to work with. Or you can, you know, leave it up to something like that. And then you can put even something additional at the bottom of this. Um, going on this side, now... If you notice, there are not that many uh, panels or, or little tabs here. You only have uh, properties, library, and scene, which is pretty much what I usually use. The um, You can add additional panels by simply going to Window um, and looking for some of the panels here that you may use. Uh, for example, I generally have color. So here the color panel pops up. I can actually put it down here. I can put it over here. I generally have it on the right. So you can actually have different layers of panels, or you can have you can move it by clicking on um, the the title, the name of it, and putting it right here next to swatches. You can even move them all up top, so you have all your you know your menu options up there. You can even move this whole thing and put it somewhere else on this side if that's what you're comfortable doing. So you you know you can really customize this thing to fit your um, your working style. 
Um, the more you work with Flash, the more you realize that you're more comfortable with things being in certain places. And um, you will eventually just settle into your, your style of working. There are a whole different list of different... You have actions, code snippets, behaviors. All these are different um, uh, panels that you can add. And just by selecting them, for example, align. I'm just going to select it here. And there it is. It pops up and I can just fit it into wherever I want. You just click on it, hold it down. And then whenever you see that little blue outline pops up, then you know it's, it's, it's already snapped into place and you can just release it and there it is. You take this somewhere else. And then, you know, you can see it's, it's already saved here. So if I go back to my animation um, workspace and then I, I, you know, I feel like going back to that one, there it is. All the, the settings that I had um, put in place, they're already there and they're just saved. So, you know, that's, that's a pretty useful little... Um, um, tip there for you <clears throat> so you can you know be more comfortable in your working environment